What's happening, everybody? I am Mike at Filmboy24, and today is all about being a leader. And by leader, I don't mean me. I'm only a leader in my own mind. I mean film leader. Today, we are going to extract the end of this film in this old Kodak 200, Super 200. This is just a roll of film that was in, left in a camera that I bought some time ago. Not sure what's on it, in fact. Um, we are going to discuss very briefly two types of film leader extraction devices. They're devices. This is the sort of semi-automatic film leader extraction tool that probably most people are used to. Very easy to use. This one's a little, uh, a little more odd. It's basically just two pieces of thin metal attached together and then dropped. Attached together, it's kind of just top piece bent around the bottom piece and they form the two little what we will call tongues. Now I'm going to turn the camera around in a second and give you a close-up view of exactly how to use both of these. This is how sometimes these will come packaged. This is a TriStar Film Leader Retriever. It's a B252 series. No clue what that means. At any rate, let's turn the camera around and I'll give you a close-up and we will start with this little guy and then we'll move on to the easier film extraction tool here on this old roll of gold 200 right now. Okay, we're going to start with our very simple two-piece device. So the first thing you're going to want to do is wind your film counterclockwise just a couple of turns just to get everything to settle down in there a little bit. Then you take your, uh, your little film extractor here and you want to slide it together so both tongues are together and insert it into the cartridge opening uh, until it stops on this little tab. Now you want to keep your, your leader puller on the side with the protruded end because the way the film leader is originally cut is it's sort of like this so you're, you're grabbing a lot more film keeping it on this far right side or this side here. So once this is in and you're, and you're at this tab you want to pull the back side while holding that you want to pull the bottom tab out. Then you want to start twisting counterclockwise again, give it a couple of turns, and then start listening to it. Listen carefully and you'll hear some clicks. You should hear one click every rotation. One. Two. And it will just keep doing that. And you want to stop right after one of the clicks. Now we've stopped. Now, once you hear that click and you stop, you want to, on these devices, you want to now go clockwise two or three turns until this stops turning or gets really tough to turn. At that point, lower the bottom tongue, squeeze together, and carefully start pulling, and you have your leader. Now you can load your Patterson tank or otherwise. Now, let's move on to the, what I like to call, semi-automatic film extractor. Much easier to use, but not nearly as fun. So, your film is stuck inside. You do the same thing. You wind it counterclockwise a couple of turns just to get it loose and relaxed. This is a three-tongue system, although the bottom one stays in place. You will keep both of these levers. See, these, these two levers move forward and back. You want them all, both, all the way to the back. And you want to put the tongues inside the cartridge opening. Make sure they're all in and, and keep it there and hold it in place. At this point, you want to slide the first lever all the way forward and then start turning counterclockwise once again. And now you're listening for the clicks again. Did you hear it? We'll go one more time. There it was. Once you hear the click, stop, push the other lever forward, and then pull them both back and pop it out. There's your leader. Do you see what I mean about keeping it on this side? 
because over here there's a lot less film to grab onto. So I always keep it on this side, this little one. And that's it. Oh, sorry. Well, I hope you learned something. If you did, do me a huge solid and punch that like button. Turn it blue for me, just like that. Leave me a comment. Let me know how you get your film out. Or do you? Do you just leave it in there forever? Do you never get it developed? Now, I know there's another way you can actually use a, um, a little bottle opener, and I used to do it all the time, and just pop these open, pop this cap off, and pull the film out. Maybe that's easier. I don't know, but I keep these for future use. And until next time, I will see you on the next go-around.